Now let me read for you from Jeff Durbin's own words on his public Facebook page about what happened to him a couple weeks ago when he was demon possessed. Listen to his own words. I'm going to read this for you and then I'm going to comment on it. First, let me just read it for you. Happy Thanksgiving and an update after my seizure. Spoiler alert, he's not epileptic. Well, you know what? I wasn't epileptic either. Until I was. Let's do this. Greetings fellow space travelers, Bionic Dance here. I wasn't going to respond to this video at first because Steven Anderson is a complete wank stain, but that was until it hit me somewhere personal and pissed me right the fuck off. You know that kind of angry you can get where you're not sure whether to snarl with rage or burst into tears? That's where this video brought me, where I kind of still am. I'm exhausted, a bit confused, and hurting all over my body. However, I am home. Two nights ago was the scariest moment in my or my family's life. It's virtually impossible to accurately describe. One moment, I was singing to my grandson and putting him to sleep, and the next moment, I had a crazy head rush and then darkness and confusion. My whole body is sore and I have wounds all over. My wrists are wounded because the fire department and paramedics had to strap me down because I didn't know what was happening to me and I was scared and trying to escape and stop them from helping me. My whole family found me and witnessed me convulsing on the floor and bleeding all over the kitchen. I didn't recognize the people I love. It's really painful to think about. Praise the Lord, my test came back very good. The doctors have no real solid explanation. I've had almost the exact same experience, except that I live alone and the only one to see it was my cat. And all my wounds were from biting the hell out of my tongue. About seven years ago, I started waking up with no memory of having fallen asleep. And I've had the experience of walking around in places I'd been many times and recognizing none of it. I remember walking up and down the light rail in Seattle asking people to help me find a backpack I hadn't even brought. It's terrifying, and I've never been able to accurately describe what it's like to anybody else. Now, stop and think about this, folks. What is he saying here? And remember, this guy is a false prophet, false teacher, scumbag of a person. And he says, oh, I had a crazy head rush and then darkness and confusion. Now look, I've heard Jeff Durbin's name before, but I can't remember what makes him a scumbag or a false prophet. Chances are he's just from another church than Steven Anderson, that's probably all it takes. But let's face facts here. That's one hell of a non sequitur saying he's a slime ball, and then he starts seeing darkness like these two are necessarily related. His whole body's sore, he has wounds, and, and he showed a picture of his wrists where the flesh has been ripped off of his wrist. The skin is gone from his wrists where they tried to bind him. Does that sound a little familiar? Remember in the Bible, they, they kept trying to bind him and the bands were burst asunder. They were trying to bind him and he was ripping free of the bindings. You know, I guess bindings have come a long way in 2,000 years though, so he wasn't able to burst them asunder. But he's, or he didn't have enough demons in him or whatever. But you know, he's trying to rip free of the bindings, rips all the skin off his wrists. You know what happens during a seizure, Stevie Poo? People flail about. Of course they're gonna try to bind him. I've got video of my seizures. I look like I'm conducting an orchestra with a mouthful of peanut butter. Fortunately, I wasn't thrashing around in a way that could hurt me, but I can see how they might try to tie someone down. So don't go trying to say this is what it was like in the Bible. That's just how seizures happen. Funny thing, I still have one of those little EEG pads that was on my head. Sometimes you just don't find all of them before they send you home. He didn't know what was happening. He was scared and trying to escape and stop them from helping me. My whole family found me and witnessed me convulsing on the floor. That's what happens when people are demon possessed. They're on the ground writhing, tearing themselves on the ground, harming themselves, flopping around on the ground. That's what the Bible said. Well, gee, that's what the Bible said. That 2,000-year-old book written before people even knew what epilepsy was. Yeah. 
Let's trust that. You know what caused my seizures, Stephen? It wasn't demons. Something went pop in my head meets and caused a bleed which formed a hole. A cavernous malformation. And it would fill up with brain juice. If something caused that hole to squeeze, it'd flood my brain causing overload and pfft, down I'd go. I've got some pictures from before I learned how to control these seizures from the time I face planted on the sidewalk. I control them by not eating foods that would make my veins clench. For almost a decade, I haven't eaten bacon or chocolate or ginger. I haven't drunk coffee or soda with caffeine in it. For at least seven years, seven frickin' years, I haven't had pepperoni on pizza. In fact, nearly every meat topping on pizza has pork in it, and I'm not allowed to drive. Just this past October, I had laser brain surgery to cauterize that hole to make the seizures stop. And so far, it's been mostly successful. I might even be allowed to drive when April rolls around, six months post-surgery. But I don't really like to talk about it much. I wouldn't even have brought it up if it weren't for this shit. Now, let me just say something, and you mark my words. If Jeff Durbin was not demon-possessed, then being demon-possessed must not exist. I agree completely. I mean, if you're going to look at somebody who's like, who's clearly a false prophet, flopping around, foaming at the mouth, can't be bound, ripping at his restraints, uh, lashing out at his family, and then he goes to the doctor and they run tests on him and say, there's nothing wrong with you, and you're oh, that guy's not demon-possessed, how dare you? Then who is? You said it yourself, Stephen. Nobody. And you know what? It took them a while to diagnose my seizures as well. Took multiple MRI scans before they even started to think they knew what was up. And I did my homework. I looked at those articles about Jeff Durbin, and they hadn't done those scans yet when they said they didn't have an immediate explanation for what happened. But because your pig-ignorant, backward-thinking, magic-believing hick ass doesn't like the guy, apparently his medical condition must be caused by freaking demons. Now, I've looked up this Jeff Durbin guy, and I doubt he and I would be friends, but still... Speaking as someone who's been there, fuck you, Steven Anderson. Fuck you right in your stupid face.